difficult uh, until array this one like uh, you solve these problems you used and I did not declare it I did not discuss it you can see uh, in most program thing at zero so here I, there is something to discuss okay always remember it array indexing always starts at zero position always always programming array indexing uh, in like most of the programming languages it uh, starts at zero position what does it mean this means that like here we have an array variable groceries is equal to apple bananas oranges and we have an, uh, like here we are trying to print uh, we are taking another variable fruit and the value of fruit is uh, like groceries one what does it mean this means that uh, groceries is our array it's uh, the value of fruit will be each first uh, one element or something like that one element means bananas so in groceries we have apple bananas oranges so apple is groceries zero element zero element or zero element whatever it is banana is one number one orange is number two that means groceries has three values but it will start its counting from 0, 1, 2. That means the value of groceries 0 is equal to apple, groceries 1 is equal to bananas, groceries 2 is equal to oranges. Okay, basically, uh, I will discuss a uh, few more things. I am trying to create some problems for you so that we can discuss these things by creating our own problems. We will not uh, only delay, uh, depend on grasshopper, we will try to solve our own problems. So this is the just remember it array indexing always starts from zero. That means the first element is zero element. Next one one first one first element then second element. So we will actually I am trying to do something for you. Um, okay, today we will start a new section that is if statement. After doing the if, I will show you how can we solve some of our own problems like if it's a conditional statement in programming okay if means there will be a condition if this condition is true we will do something listen i have created a slide um i will upload the slides for you in the slide i have uh, described something about if or if else whatever i'm going to discuss if means there will be a condition and according to the condition we will do a task okay if i click on the first one if editor see uh, if and the equality operator see in programming uh, or in javascript here in grasshopper whenever we will check whenever we will check the equality that means is it equal to this or is it equal to this then for equality sign we know that in mathematics we use just a single equal but here in grasshopper we will use triple equal or three equal sign three equal signs for checking the equality okay just remember it in this javascript or in this programming we will use three equal for checking the equality sign in c programming you will get that we will use two equals but here we will use three equals for checking the equality sign. Three equals for grasshopper only. Yeah, for grasshopper only. Actually, for different grasshopper is using JavaScript programming language. For different programming language, there are different types of patterns or rules and grammars. Okay, like that's an example. If x is equal to two, print x. That means we will have a x value. I will show you an example by doing my own example. If x is equal to 2, then print x means uh, print x will run. What does this mean? We will do it. Uh, like they have given a uh, example here. They told me that uh, they are saying that inside the code block of the if statement, add drawbox blue. And then they are just trying to print something. 
so here we have an array color and pick random it's the function we don't need to worry about it it will pick a random value from the color like blue green whatever it is there might be two or three values from these two or three values pick random function will randomly choose a color this is default function they have already built it we will just use it they are saying that uh, we have to solve the problem just inside the if block we have to write that drawbacks blue so inside the what is our condition if color equal to blue that means if pick random color select blue randomly then we will just print that drawbox blue so here we have an array color and inside color array has two values blue and green uh, what we are what uh, and pick random function will randomly select a color we don't know which one it will select it will computer will do this if our color is blue it will print that drawbacks blue yeah blue see first time when I, here randomly computer has selected blue that's why it's printing the blue i hope in the output it's printing a blue block a blue box you can see it and if i run it again sometimes it might happen that it will not print the blue box because computer will not select the blue sometimes why because pick random function it's a random function sometimes it might select this value sometimes this value it's a random function in programming so how can like, i know that uh, what color should we choose yeah you, you don't need to know about it the random is a famous function in programming uh, it is done by the computer it just randomly run something and select a the out of 100 or like out of thousand words or thousand numbers it will select a number randomly it's its choice then out of uh, lots of values it will choose uh, select a random value something like that so it's a function so see here it has selected three times so, random, <coughs> so this time it did not select it so random is a famous function in programming or computer we don't need to worry about random function it, uh, it is already written the algorithm for it it will do its job we will just use it okay now i want to show you something like mm, here it is also that we got an idea about the if function uh, if a statement let me check to this class lectures uh, so here if whenever random function randomly selects color blue then it prints a blue box here if it doesn't select the blue it it it's just printing the color of green it's not printing uh the, it's not drawing the uh, color box okay for example if i what write about a, the green? green for green we did not write any function uh so like if you write any program for green good question like if you write something for green like if color okay i am adding something okay if color is equal to green then like whenever color is equal to blue it's printing a blue box if color is equal to green like it will print uh what it will print like it will print it will not print them is there any option for uh no there is no they are not giving any option for like a string or anything we can do it like you can do something different for green basically whenever it's green it's printing green if you remove this what can you do if color is equal to green you can print color that means same thing whenever it is blue color it will print a blue box whenever it is green color it will not print a blue box it will just print that color color means it will print green this word so this is our condition if i run it again it has selected actually blue if i run it again now it's saying green because randomly computer now selected green color green function green color okay but it seems a bit uh, different for you 
if I show you something, it will be totally clear to you. Uh, you know, you can write your own code here. Uh, you can write your own problem, own code. Just click on the top left. Click on the code playground. There you can create your own snippet or own file. Like I am creating a new snippet for you. Okay. Cancel it. I am just removing the previous section. Okay, now I will write a code for you. For example, we have. So what is SVG keys? Okay, SVG keys, I think it's something like uh, I have to export this one actually. You don't need to worry about this. Without the SVG keys, like it may be something API or something like that. That means application programming interface. There is something for enabling your application or anything i have to export this but but you don't need i saw got that if you don't need to use it actually as the case for this without this you can use it like i don't know actually i have to export this one for this application what does it as this is. but yeah okay let me complete it now like i am explaining i am creating a variable x I will give it some number. Mm, what is num? I will give it some number. Like variable x is equal to 10. Then I will create a, again another variable. Variable y is equal to like some number 5. So aren't we working with the colors? No, no. We are not working with colors. Now we are working with numbers. So it will be easier for you to understand. Like we have two variables. I hope you have now some idea what is variable. The value of x is 10. The value of y is 5. Now I will write a condition. Then it will be clear for you. If I will select the if block here. My condition is if x. Like there is some operator. We will discuss it later actually. But I am using it here like greater than or less than you already know this operator if x greater than y so my first condition is <clears throat> sorry, my first condition is if x is greater than y so we have two values two variables x and y and x has some value y has some value my first condition is if x is greater than y it will do something like it will print that it will print a message that give a string. It will print that uh, like x is greater than y. This is my first condition. I will add another if block. Okay. My second if is if x is less than y. We could also use else, right? If x is yeah, greater yes, than yes. y, but else I, y is small. Um, yes, I, I will show it later. Okay, if x is less than y, then we will print that. Uh, we will print a string. Where is my print function? Print that. Uh, like y is greater than y. Oh, sorry, y is greater than x. So I have two conditions. So still now I only know the if block. That's why I use d block only. So I have two conditions. Uh, like I have two variables. One is for x, another is for y. Then I have my first condition is if x is greater than y, then it will print a message that x is greater than y good and my second condition is if x is less than y it will print that y is greater than x i hope you got the point okay now tell me what will be the output if i run the program what will be the output of this program x greater than y yes x is greater than y good because the value of x is here 10 the value of y is 5 so my first condition is true my first condition is true 
according to my first condition, if x the value of x is greater than y, it will give us that x is greater than y. So if I run it now, I am getting that x is greater than y. But if I change the value of x and y here, like if I if x is 10, if I make y is like 20. Now, so now what will be the output here? Why is greater than x? Now the output will be because now my second condition is true. My first of all, whatever it will do actually, the program executes it will execute line by line. First of all, it takes the first condition. Is it true? No, it's not true this time. So it will go to the next line and it will find another condition. It will check that is it true? Yes, my second condition is true. So it will print that okay, y is greater than x now. So that is actually if block. Okay, now there is another block that is if else. If else, the, it is not actually described exactly in the grasshopper right now. But there is another block that is if else. That is, if you have like if else means uh, basically it works for like two conditions. We have two conditions here. The first condition is if our value of x is greater than y, it will give a message. If it is not x, if x is not greater than y, it will give another message. Ultimately, that means that if x is greater than y, it will give a message else. That means if it's not greater than y, it will give another message. So what does it mean actually? Uh, let me show you. Two value x and y. In if we use now another block if else. Okay, my it, uh, my connection is a bit slow now. Okay, now here we will select if else. I hope you can see the block if else. See, whenever I have selected if else, it looks like this. If so, if previously I just used the if block, multiple if blocks. Now I have used here if else. If there should be some condition, but inside the else, we don't need to give any condition. We will just execute some statement. So how it will work see. see in the if follows you can give some condition like here i will give the condition that if uh if x again same condition i will look for greater than if x is greater than y then we will give a message that print X is greater than Y. X is greater than Y. Else we will print that. See how it works. Y is greater than X. See how it will work. Here we have also here actually basically in deep we have two conditions but how it will work first of all it will check that is x greater than y if the condition is true then it will print that x is greater than y else means if my first condition is false that means if x is not greater than y i hope you got it else means if my first condition is false if x is not greater than y that means alter what does it mean Ultimately, it means if x is less than y, then it will go to the else block and it will print that y is greater than x. So, first of all, it will check the first condition. It will print if x is greater than y, x is greater than y, that's fine. Else, it will print that y is greater than x. Okay. Uh, did you get it? So, what will be the output for this one? I have a question. Yes. Y is greater than x. So, for two condition, uh, we can use either if uh, double if with uh, two conditions or if else, right? Yes. 
So which one will be better, double if or if else? No, no, if else will be better. If else will be a smart. So what, why if else would be a smarter one, same? Just think it. Computer needs to do something here, you know. Computer here have to check each and every character here. So if we write two if block, just think it very normally. Then inside the second if we have to give another condition, you know, uh, write some another condition. It is we have to do more work. But here, if we write just else, we don't need to do more work. What it will do basically when the first condition is false, it will directly go to the else. But if you give two if, the computer will check the first if condition, then it will check the second if condition. It will do more work. It will do it will check two conditions. It have to check. Yeah. But here, if you write if else, it just needs to check only one condition. So it needs less time. It needs less work. So the second one is good, better. Good question. So what about uh, two conditions or more than two conditions? Yeah, basically, for more than two conditions in real life programming, that means here we are doing visual programming, we will get there is another block like if else if else if else if else if that is another condition in C programming, for example. But here we don't have it right now. So if I give you something more than two conditions, you have to use multiple if. Yeah, but there is another way. Okay, all of you, I hope did you understand it? So what will be the output here? Yes, here the output will be second one. I will the be better will... than x. Why is why is why is better than x? Yes, here. While why, why is so if I run it, so I hope you got it, all of you. And if I like change something here. If I change the value of x to like so this is I am just adding. Tell me what will be the output. Hi Corona. X will be greater than y. So what will be the output oh, here? Hi Corona. Hi Corona. Okay. Hi, corona. Here the output will be Hi Corona. So if Y is greater, it will print that by Corona. I hope Y will be greater after two or three months. Okay. okay. All of you, did you get it? What will be the output here? Just check it here. If my X value is greater than Y, it will print that Hi Corona. Else means if X is not greater than Y, it will print that by Corona. So here my value of x is 50 and y is 20. So x is greater than y. So it will print that i corona. That's what it did. So yes. that's how, yes. So you have chosen a sign that is str. Maybe that is a string. So why we need to use that? Yeah, a string means here if you write to want to write uh, some set words or characters, sentences, you have to use a string. Basically, a string means sequence of characters. Like if I click here, see, you will have lots of options. Where is my keyboard? Okay, just I am giving another print, for example. Just print. See, here we have lots of options. For writing the numbers, we have num, num. For writing the words, like if you want to give a message, like hi corona, by corona. For this, you have to use a string. For number, you have numbers. A string means nothing. You you will write a sequence of characters. You write some words. You write some message. That's why it's okay. a string. Okay. Okay, all of you. Now, like I have done this in my own code playground. I can save it now. If you want to go back, it will give you option save snippet. You can save it. Like name it section one. Uh, class two, not section one. You may be section two. That's for good, actually. Section two class. Okay. Save snippet. So I have saved this. Okay. If I go back 
this one again i will get my code i hope so i can get it so i am getting my existing code so here i have saved a file here i did something and so i named it section to class 2 and if i go back it here again and i will get my saved codes okay that is actually our if block and also we learned if else block like if i go to grasshopper uh, let me check is there anything else in there so whatever i discussed right now by using the number this is the actually basics of if block let me check if we have something else like if i click on the flip a coin uh reset it you will use if a statement to control code flow if a statement allow you to control if a piece of code runs it's actually simple this means that the string stale stale or details are not equal so just okay another thing remember whenever you declare a variable in like java script or in here in programming be careful about the naming like it is case sensitive if you name a program uh, variable tails t is lower case and if you name a variable tails where t is upper case i hope you can see on the screen here now it's now tails and tails these will be with different variables so here it will be case sensitive upper case and lower case will be counted as a different variables be careful about this okay and uh, like they are doing that add a new if statement at the end of the code inside the parenthesis of your new statement test if answer is equal to tails use the draw box function inside your new statement to draw something tails so it is nothing special we have a again Sir, can you explain the instructions i did not understand this uh, okay in instructions here they are saying that uh, add i have to just add a new statement if a statement then inside the if a statement my condition should be is it equal to tails then i will just use a draw box function so i will do three things first of all i will add if block i will add if means? oh parenthesis means brackets so basically we in our bangladeshi education system we call it first bracket but the real name is actually parenthesis parenthesis so parenthesis means this bracket and bracket means actually third bracket okay and second bracket whatever we call it the curly one you you know this one i hope you can see block runs the second bracket yeah, we yeah. call it it is called braces braces b r a c e s braces third bracket third bracket is bracket this is the bracket third bracket is called bracket oh, and first one is parenthesis this is actually parenthesis we call it. so what you will do we will add a if statement here and we will check that add a new if statement we will add a new new statement and you will check that is it head or tail so it's almost the same thing we have an array here answer and it has two values heads and tails and it will randomly select a value head or tail pick random function will randomly select a function then if our answer is heads it will draw something that g w g g g g g, g. that is green white green 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 we don't need to worry about this how it works draw box function will do the job for us it will draw something like that so you what will you do you will add another if according to their problem statement you will check that answer is equal to the equal means triple equal if answer is equal to write a string your job is tails you'll check that the first one is if answer is equal to heads draw something second one is if answer is equal to tails then draw something like draw box i will write like b b b w w w whatever it is again b b b maybe black black or blue and white so this is it if answer is equal to head it will draw something if answer is equal to tails it will draw something else this is our answer array so if i run it because it selected head maybe now nah, you know it's working now randomly it selected the tails okay that is actually the basics of if now your job is 
try to complete this if a statement i had actually planned to discuss operator uh but okay i will discuss operator most probably the last class but i am trying to design some problems for you so that you actually if you just use this visualization use this application you will not have a very good idea about actually what is the what is operator but this course is actually for a very basic thing but for getting the good idea you have to work with some real life problems like i have discussed if this happens what will happen if this happens what will happen by using some numbers words but it's a nice thing like okay check this one the next one uh, what code would check if the grasshopper variable is holding this one so uh, basically what does it mean uh, it means how we can check that if grasshopper is equal to happy in if a statement so for checking the equality we have to use three equals equality means this one three equals okay that's super equal that means if in the if in the if condition if you write want to check the condition if grasshopper is equal to happy then you have to write it in this way if grasshopper equal 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 happy mm, yeah, there is some description created and if it you already know about this So try to do this guessing game. What is the weather? Guess the game. Okay, there is a new operator. Actually, I will discuss here. Okay. Let me check something else. Using it as operators. Logical operator. Okay, I will discuss operator also. Listen, if I discuss operator, it will be clear to you. All of you, there is some operators here, uh, like. I hope you can see my screen. I want to show you something. Okay, wait. Okay. Uh, like. Okay. There are some operators we usually use here. A basic operator. Uh, comparison operator basic operator means plus minus multiplication division and comparison operator is you know already equal equal and this is the not equal i will upload the slides that less than greater than less than equal greater than equal these are the less than so we will use this operator this is this these are called comparison operator Okay, not equal means this one. The exclamatory sign and then two equals. And equal means three equals. Okay, all of you, can you hear me? Are you getting any echo or anything? Is it clear? Yes, sir. Okay, okay. Yes, sir. I am hearing some echo, I don't know. Okay. Uh, so so, we need to hear it. Echo sound is coming. Yeah, okay. sound is coming. Then we have some comparison operators again okay? equal sign, not equal sign, less than, greater than, less than or equal, greater than or equal. And we also use some logical operator that is and and or operator. Okay, and means if both condition is true, okay, I will discuss it, or means this or this, anyone is true. Okay, if I discuss, okay, that means you got. These are the our operators. Okay, we have basic operator. You know these things. 
plus minus multiplication division see remember in programming we will always use a asterisk sign or a star whatever you say for the multiplication and this is our division and for comparison equal not equal less than greater than less than or equal greater than or equal and that is logical operator and operator or operator okay now check how can we use it now i will again share my computer screen or mobile screen see um, operators like modifier operator if i click on this this is so they are trying to say here you can use x is equal x plus 0 x plus 1 so you can use your plus operator minus operator multiplication operator okay that's the message sakina so uh, please explain flip, flip one i can come again uh, okay, I will explain it later. Okay, no, it's before ending the class. I will explain it. Okay, so we will we can use you already have some idea plus sign, minus sign, multiplication sign, division sign. But what we need to do now replace the number zero in x is equal to x plus zero with some value and also x is equal to give some value. So it, this is very simple of actually explanation. Variable we have a variable x, the value is five then we are changing its value x is equal x plus zero so instead of zero you have to give a number like give it here uh, five so we have changed the value of x initially the value of x was five but after writing x is equal x plus five it will be 10. so in the first print it will print that x is 10 so see how it's printing x is 10. okay the, then check the next one also i will explain it x is equal x minus zero instead of zero i'm just changing the number uh, again making it like 2 x minus 2. so thus the first value of x is 5 after adding 5 it will be 10. then again we are uh, subtracting 2 from x then the value of x will be 10 minus 8 is equal to 6. see it's trying to print in this way print x is x so still now in our print function we printed something like that print high corona print uh, x is greater than y also we printed some color print color or also we can print some number like print x print y but here also we can try we can print a string and number in the same print if you want to print a string uh, sorry a string yes a string and number a string means some words some message some message and also a number then you have to use it in this way in the quotation mark you have to write the message or a string x is plus x plus x means see don't mess it with the uh, plus sign if you write some if you write something in the print write some print write some plus operator in the print that means it will add it concatenate it it is called concatenation that means it will print that x is 5 there is nothing to do with plus operator it's not the plus operator in mathematics here it whenever you in the print function you want to print a string and a number in the same time then you have to use plus operator so print x is 5 it will print x is 5 in the second print then the value of x will be again changed x will be now 8 it will print that x is now 8 
okay if i run it it will find x is 10 x is now 8 so if you in the same lines in the output you can see that in the same line it's printing a message or a string and also a number x is 10 uh, also in the second line you can see that it's giving a string and then number in the same line like x is now 8 so if you want to print number and a string in the same line you have to use plus sign inside the in the print function like x is plus x this x so what it will print in the if you see the in the code first print it will print x is then instead of x it will print the value of x it will print x is 10 that's what it's doing x is 10 also like in the second one did you get it this one this plus if you write plus sign inside the print box it is nothing to do with the plus operator it is adding a string so give me something now did you get this one it yes, is 10 x is 8 so why okay. did you put plus x um outside the inverted comma outside the inverted comma. good question that's how you have to do it you have to write the string inside the comma quotation mark or inverted comma and you have to write the what number string? Okay. yeah okay what will happen if i write plus x inside the quotation what will happen see what will happen x sorry x is sorry x is x is plus plus what what it was x is plus x something like that yeah. so our target is we will print x is 10 10 means we will print first message x is then we will print the value of x the value of x is 10 but here if we write all of the things inside the double quotation what will be the output here say what is the first output x is plus x because the program is thinking that all of the things are here a message all of the things are a string because you wrote all of the things inside a double quotation so it will not get that we are trying to print the next x second x as a value it will also take it as a string so it will not print its value here now so it will print x is plus x did you get it but if you write it outside the print box you can just close it writing here is challenging actually close it first of all write a string uh, x is then outside the string <laughs> writing is challenging here but did you get it all of you did you get it what is the issue here so if you print print it in this way x is plus x it will happen this way x is done. okay so if you write anything inside the quotation mark in programming or uh, in grasshopper it will be counted as a string if you write it out, outside there like if you want to print the value of x then x should be a number x should be like an integer number so you have to write it outside the double quotation if you write it inside the double quotation the program will think that okay it's a string that was a very good question in initial state if you ask this type of question that means you are thinking about it okay then that was uh, basically i will explain the operator in the next class also uh, that's it. So in the program, uh, 